Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is John's report. It's for the 26th, and looks like we're going to start off on Monday after the big dive on uh, Friday. And all we did was uh, continue our breakdown here that we've been seeing. We've gotten into a pretty decent oversold configuration here, and we can see with the pre-open, we've got the spark right here of uh, steel moving back above cyan. Uh, last time we had that was, uh, well, we had it right here in the mid-range, but that was on rising shakeout. Here we have it on falling shakeout. And the other time that it was on a um, little bit improved uh, shakeout reading was right over here that led to a nice little spurt. Um, I think the key also is to going to be this 23% uh, line here that, uh, you know, as long as you're above it, hey, you can stay with the long side of things, but uh, recognizing that you're countering uh, the general nature of uh, the market as it is. It was pretty clean. There was no gap up or anything in the open. Uh, we can look at futures in a little bit. Um, they just, this was a stop run. And there's so much news about how the market should be going to zero that um, you know the counter trade. <laughs> uh, contrary in trade, uh, you get too many people all going in one direction, uh, you get a counter to it. That's uh, just par for the course. Uh, we're looking at the NASDAQ, not as strong as the uh, S&P, and that's to be expected because it has outperformed in general. This has been the equalizing factor uh, in general overall for uh, reclaiming balance because the NASDAQ had been so far ahead. And so it was a good move. The, the continued rise of the euro is starting to put a little pressure, uh, particularly from a trade standpoint, and that uh, certainly helps the uh, S&P. Uh, from an earnings standpoint, but uh, it's creating some situations uh, in the EU that uh, are going to be a little unpleasant. They're going to start to get pressure from automakers and that in Germany and that wanting the euro to come back to a more reasonable level. There's really no reason for it uh, other than uh, it's now seen as the flight to quality, um, which is ironic given the fact that uh, interest rates are not climbing in the EU, they are climbing in the US. And so you would expect. Uh, a little bit of a decline here in TLT, but you're not getting it because, again, fear is usually the reaction. So uh, that's usually the counter. Now, oil continuing to press highs. This is an indication that there's still solid growth. And so um, that's also going to start to impact inflation because we saw the first ring of it right here. It kind of eased off a bit, but this wasn't enough time to really make an impact uh, from a price standpoint uh, because people were absorbing the quick uh, move up. So this is going to later end of the year uh, have its full impact at that particular point. Gold uh, at the peaks, not a surprise. We've expected this for some time and only expected to accelerate the, despite the fact that you're going to have a strong presence for uh, central banks wanting to keep it under control um, because the feeling is if you let gold get out of uh, ahead of itself, then that's going to drive uh, some inflation fears, which is, I know, an interesting one, which what drives what? Uh, it's not relevant as much as for us to know that uh, if you have inflation, while it's a negative for the market in general, it's also uh, an accelerant for the value. And we've discounted quite a bit uh, in the market by having it rise as much as we have for potential inflation and devaluation. So uh, that's a lot of the trade that people forget about uh, as far as value goes. But it's still a significant portion of it. So you can see here, it was a beautiful uh, day as we just continued to break down. Shakeout was just weak. Then we ended up with the reset down at the bottom. Barely could get back to the 23% on this super oversold. Uh, and then it started another down run uh, from that particular point. And then towards the end of the day, we ended up with a fairly decent reset here. We finally got it back above this uh, negative 13.5 rose line. I'm going to change the color on that uh, for next month. So I'm going to turn it into like a green color just because when you're in the negative, it's red here and it's sometimes hard to uh, distinguish it because of so much red when the shakeout's really negative. And it's a, a key factor when uh, it moves up above it because you can see that uh, you tend to get a little bit better carry through uh, on all the trades that tend to have it, uh, particularly once you get above that uh, 23% line right there. 
So you can see how it struggled on this last run. Uh, it was slightly before, below it, moved up. We couldn't get a close above the 23%. We retested the low, didn't break down below it, and then boom, um, pulled it right back up. So very interesting to uh, take a look at that. And we can see already uh, plus 25. So it erased a huge portion of the uh, decline. In fact, we should shrink this because we're going to show the whole day because it was quite a range. So that shows you how much, I mean, because this is all represented in ticks, and um, now we're all the way uh, up here, which is pretty much uh, where the lows of the open uh, pre-market session back here were, and then we uh, climbed up, made new highs. But, so we've returned right back down to that uh, bottom side range, and uh, we're overbought in the sense that we have positive extremes, but uh, wouldn't describe it that way as much as to say that was just the algo activation from this point. So yes, we will see some retraces into it. Uh, doesn't mean that we can't continue to rise because again, we have cyan under red here, and that is always a buy, except for when it's not. But that's a whole different issue. <laughs> again. You know, this is one of those things where people will start shorting these climbs, but do you ever short a rising shakeout? No, you just don't. That, you know, until you see the breakdown. And then when you have the magenta line over the 15, which it is right now, and if you ever, you don't even have to be able to read those. You can always look right over here on this upper line. It gives you all the colors right there. So it's a 16.808. So that's about 15. So this is going to continue. So now 26 and keep, uh, it's still got the momentum with it. Uh, it. Beautiful with the reset too, the steel. So I would expect this probably gonna carry through a little bit. We'll get some retrace and then probably right before the open. Uh, but all in all, decent stuff. So we'll continue to follow it and I'll put up uh, charts as they're relevant. Uh, we're getting key signals and we'll go from there. But it was a beautiful reset from the ABM from this particular point and uh, nice run. As always, though, trade well, and uh, we'll talk again uh, later.